If you're not going to be using a chromatography column for more than a couple days, you're going to want to store it typically in 20% ethanol to keep things from growing because things have a tendency to grow in these columns and we don't want that to happen. So we're going to run ethanol through our column, but before we run ethanol through our column, what are we going to do? We have to wash it with water. Exactly. And why do we wash it with water, Karina? To prevent um, salt precipitate and it will end up messing up the whole system. Yeah. So you do not want to have the ethanol meet the salt because then the salt's going to precipitate out. It's going to mess things up. And so before you put the, it through, the ethanol through, you want to put the water through. That's true for both your buffers, for the, I mean, for the, both your pumps, as well as for your columns. So you want to wash your pump with water before you wash your pump with ethanol and you want to wash your column with water before you wash your column with ethanol and that is going to help make it so that you don't precipitate stuff. One thing though is that ethanol at low temperatures, so we have our acta in the fridge and at low temperatures especially, ethanol is going to be more viscous so you got to lower the flow rate. And so what we actually did is we set up a method in our unicorn where we have it set to monitor the pressure so we, we don't just have a pressure limit but like a pressure sensor based on the column type. But you also, if possible, you can actually limit the flow rate so that you set a flow rate, but it'll go slower to avoid actually going over that pressure because you don't want to mess up your columns. These columns are... And so you don't want to get salt precipitating in them and you don't want to overpressurize them. So Karina's going to show how we can go and set up a method to do our wash for us. And so we're going to go to tools at the top toolbar and then method editor. And it'll pop up. And what we're going to do is we're going to go to file, new method. And now we're going to choose column CIP, so that's clean in place, and so that's going to be cleaning our column in place. And so we're going to click that. We could do things manually, but this way it's going to set limits and everything for us. Mm -hmm. So we need to tell it though what column we have so that it knows what pressure limits to set. And so we're going to set our SuperDex 200, 10, 300, increase GL. Uh, there. Oh, here we go. There we go. Perfect. Okay, so we click that. And so now you can see that it set our column volume. So it knows that we can, if we set things for two column volumes, it's going to do twice that volume. We set the pre pressure, the pre column pressure limit. It sets a flow rate, but then it also says to control the flow to avoid overpressure, which is what we want because we want to make sure that we are not over pressurizing things and this way it'll slow down to prevent that without just just stopping for column position we're going to change that to make sure that it goes actually through our column because we want to clean the column we only have a single column position at least currently so that'll be one now let's go to column cip what we could do is we'll just um, you can type in, if you go to get suggested steps, it'll give you some, but we'll just type it in directly. And so we're going to have water and that's going to be in our A1, in our A line. And so we don't need, we want 0% B. So that's good as is. We're going to though, let's change that to two column volumes and we'll set the flow rate to, it's set to one, which I'm confused about because mm -hmm. we set the default one. To 0.75 so we'll just change that back to 0.75 okay and so then it's going to the waist down the column all is good let's go ahead and add another step and what the what's this step gonna be this will be 20 percent exactly okay and we are going to have it we'll set the flow rate for that one to 0.5 we anticipate it'll be slower because mm -hmm. the ethanol is going to be more viscous okay. but hopefully regardless it'll limit the pressure mm -hmm. and so now we're going to go ahead and save our method oh sorry one thing we need to do though because the ethanol what line is the ethanol in um the b, the b line right yes. so we're going to set that to 100 percent perfect and since the buffer the lines are in different 
pump lines, mm -hmm. we can go ahead and do it without having to stop it in between okay. to change our line to wash it with, with water and then with ethanol because the one's already in the ethanol. So. Okay. okay, and so now we want to save our method. The, just the save icon and the neck to the right. There we go. And we'll go ahead and save our method and then we can go ahead and run it. When we set up our method, we had it click the thing that said like fill system with selected buffer or whatever. And so right now you can see that it's kind of cleaning the system with the buffer before it goes and puts things through our column. And then it'll do the same for the B line, but we're doing the water and then the ethanol. So there's not going to be any buffer in the system when ethanol actually goes to meet it. But we have those through different lines. So our A and our B lines. We can see that we are running at, what's our flow rate? So about, if you scroll up, there we go. So we're running at 0.616 even though we set it to 0.75, because if we look at our pre-column pressure, it's gonna be approaching that limit that we set. And that's because we're at colder temperatures where things run slower. Mm -hmm. So always important to keep that in mind when you're at cold temperatures, things run slower. And important to keep in mind that before you put ethanol through something, you wanna make sure that you put water through something yes. so that you don't have ethanol precipitate the salts in your stuff mm -hmm. and so we're just going to let this run we're going to equilibrate it with two column volumes of water then two column volumes of ethanol and then it should be able to survive yes. while we are not using it for a few days and then hopefully next week we'll be back at some purifying and we'll then wash it out well with water and then with our buffer because we don't want to wash it with our buffer right after it has when it has ethanol in it because then we're going to precipitate things out yeah so you can see that we have done our water and now we are switched to the ethanol. So we're just showing the concentration of B, which is where our ethanol line is. And you can also see that we are running only at like 0.3 mils per minute, even though we set it higher because we set it to limit the flow rate to avoid setting off the pressure alarm. Because the ethanol is more viscous, you're gonna have to run at the lower lower rates at the colder temperatures. You can also see that if we go to like our system linear flow, you can see that the flow rate has decreased as opposed to when we were doing it in just the water because of the viscosity and limiting the pressure. But all's going well and it should be equilibrated soon and then we'll just store the column. So, awesome job, Karina. Yeah. yeah, she's really, my students are all really picking up on this active stuff real quick. So, it's awesome.